Welcome back everybody. Today we're going over this little pistol right here that's been long awaited here on the channel and elsewhere. This is the Canik uh, TP9SF. So I'll let you guys actually get a look at it there in terms of the markings. Uh, you can see the slide is gray and uh, it's a gray Cerakote. It's actually over a parkerized finish. So it's parked first and then Cerakote, which I certainly like. That's a good uh, durable finish on there. And one thing some of you guys may have noticed when I was actually showing it to the camera there was that it does have the ambidextrous slide release, which I know is something that uh, a lot of you guys wanted on the Canix pistols. However, the magazine is still, magazine release, I should say, is still on one side. It's reversible, though. Um, so, 15 round mags, comes with two mags. These are Metgar mags, uh, 15 plus one capacity, of course. And uh, it's generally speaking Glock 19 size, which is something a lot of people like. I have a Glock 19 here, actually. <clears throat> if I can get it to show you guys. So, uh, if you guys are looking to see in terms of how it stacks up dimensionally, there you go. It's a little bit longer in the slide, as you guys can see there. Um, but in terms of the frame height and stuff like that, it's pretty darn similar. Uh, I'll spin it around here so you guys can kind of get that angle and see. So very similar overall to the Glock 19, a little bit longer there in the slide. It's also slightly wider as are all the Canic pistols there in the slide. Not sure how well that comes across on a cell phone camera here on a live stream, but um, there you go. It's very similar in weight as well, and you'll see compared to the uh, typical SF pistol right here, which is the Canon TP9 SF, it's still shorter than that, both in the grip as well as in the slide. Quick comparison there, it's a little bit longer. Uh, the Canon TP9 SF, of course, is more Glock 17-ish in terms of size. So, yeah, comes with two mags comes with a holster. I think this is actually the exact same holster that the SF comes with. Let me check. Kind of doing this here on camera. I just got home from the FFL. So, yep. Works with that. A um, couple features of it that are nice. Like I mentioned, the uh, Cerakoting, it does have some front serrations, which I do like. A lot of the Canic pistols didn't have that before. Um, and one thing that is quite nice that I noticed at least on this pistol, of course we have a sample size of one, but it has the SF style trigger, so there's no decocker here on the top, uh, so strike fire only. And uh, very nice clean break that you come to expect from Canic. But the reset on this one, at least on this one, compared to this pistol anyway, the typical SF uh, full size, this one here is a much stronger reset, so very nice overall in terms of trigger. Uh, comes with interchangeable back straps. One big thing that's nice as well is going to be these worn tactical sights. Comes with them from the factory. So plain black rear, fiber optic front. Comes with a few extra fiber optics rods for uh, in case they break. And I think that's pretty much it. So what we're going to do, obviously, is take it out, put a bunch of rounds through it, and come back and give you guys a full review uh, once we get done with that. But I just kind of want to give you guys a heads up on it because I know a lot of people have been asking about these pistols. Um, when they're going to come in, if they're going to come in, well, they're in. Um, so they'll be shipping to your dealers now because obviously I have one, so you guys can get one as well. I think the uh, MSRP is just a touch more than the other ones um, due to the sights. I'm not 100% sure on that. If you guys know, post down below in the comment section. But I've heard rumors that they'll be street priced around $399, maybe even a little bit less. Um, but we shall see. So. So far, as you guys know, I've been impressed with Canic Pistols. Hopefully this one will do the same, but either way, we will let you guys know. Uh, that's about it. Of course, the dogs always have to make an appearance. They're sleeping here, but they got to do some work and get on camera because that's their job. So uh, that's about it, guys. If you have questions and stuff like that, post down below in the comment sections. I will uh, try to answer them. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.